We've got to go and catch our flight to Munich. Come on then. But we're going to Venice. Why are we going to Munich? We're going via Munich. No, I honestly thought Venice was a country. <laughs> So we've landed in Munich and we've got to get a connecting flight to Venice. Venice, yeah, in Italy. Italy. Let's go. Oh look, where should we go? This way. This way. This way. Oh good morning ladies and gents. As we descend into Venice Airport, you will see on the window the ship that you're about to embark on. Uh, at the moment it's just been uh, disinfected. There's been a bad case of Ebola virus. But don't worry, we have all the Philippine staff going around with the anti-bacteria uh, liquid gel. I've just landed in Vienna. Vienna. Now we've got to go and look for our boat. No, we know we're in Vienna. It's Venice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh that boat, that's good isn't it? We're going to need a smaller boat. The size of that. There's not enough lifeboats. We need more lifeboats. All aboard the Skylark. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that's a bit of lively music there for you isn't it? <laughs> Come, let's go and find our room. Follow the leader, follow the leader, follow the leader, follow the leader. So I've just arrived in the room and uh, it's not as bad as we thought because we've heard that it's always quite small. Not too bad is it? That's you impressed? Nice. I'm alright, I think these are good. The only thing is it hasn't got a bath. Ba, 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 ba. Let's get some lunch. Okay. Look what I've just found! Yay! Come on board, we've had some, um, some lunch, we've had some hamburger and chips and uh, I had a nice bottle of beer. And um, what time will we uh, depart? Maybe about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Mm. And we're going where? What's our first stop? Montenegro. Montenegro. Alright, wicked. Cool. So we're just in the room, and my lovely lady is making herself look very, very beautiful for me tonight. Yeah. And uh, we still haven't moved yet, have we? Yeah. But it's a beautiful evening here in Venice. Very busy port. What is that, sweetheart? Why, why is it so busy and why are we late to leave? We're very late to leave because there was some sort of boat race or something, I don't know. Yes, yeah, some sort of historical regatta. Jawohl, this is your captain, Stefan. Welcome aboard the Norwegian Star. As you can see, we are now leaving Venice. You'll be able to find your sick bags underneath your bed. And please refrain from going to the front of the ship and saying, no. Look, Jack, I'm flying! That's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Have you decided what you're having? What are you going to have? Tell me! French onion soup. I can't hear you. French onion soup. Oh, yes. And then pan seed New Zealand paper. Oh, very nice. Oh, thank you very so what do you reckon? Should we have one drink here? One for the road! One for the road! Let's go! How time is? No. Morning. Morning. Oh. 
Good morning, everyone. Look at this view. First thing in the morning ain't bad. Okay, so we're having our first breakfast here, aren't we? And uh, it's not bad, is it? It's like a buffet breakfast. And what I really like about this is that you can see, sit by the window and watch the sea. Uh, this is really nice because it's not too posh and, and it's... Come in your bikini. You come in your bikini. It's great. So it's uh, our first date on the ship and um, we were running late because they had this um, um, boat race or something last night. So. Um, we're um, going to be arriving in Montenegro about uh, um, 8 o'clock, I think it is. Uh, one thing I've learned already in this ship is they love the Americans and they seem to give them better service. So I've started to use an American accent. I think it's really shit, though. But it seems to be working. So we're, uh, we're at the front of the ship. some lunch. Welcome to Butlins on a ship. So here we are arriving into uh, first port of call which is Monte Negro. Uh, this place is called Bar. It wasn't on the original itinerary. The Because of the race they sent us to a different place than planned and um, we found out later it was okay here but obviously it wasn't as nice as where it was meant to be going bye bye montenegro morning we're pulling into the port of cyprus no not cyprus what was it Hey, we're pulling into the port of Corfu. Eat fatty. Um, I've just noticed though, there's a lot of people in here. <laughs> You've got to do the joke for me. There's, just, there's a lot of people here. A lot of blokes called Philip Pines. What's on the name badge? Philip Pines. Jason. Oh. Right, as I was saying, right, yeah, so on their name badges it says they're all called Philip Pines. Why is that? Philippines. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> What's that? Blueberry. Me. Is it you?
Okay, we're about to pull into Santorini, is that right? Yep. Is that how you say it? And Santorini, and um, uh, what I will say about uh, if you're going to go on a cruise, if you can afford the extra few dollars or pounds, is to get yourself a balcony because we have really enjoyed having the balcony. And you can see some great views, it's just constantly changing. And uh, it's amazing how soundproof these doors are as well. Because when I open this door, if I can open it, how do you open this door? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Take two. So we're just pulling into the island of Santarini. Santorini. As you can see, there's plenty of sea and the sun in the sky. That's all you need. Just <laughs> about this cruise is that um, you are sort of treated like a herd of animals a bit. Do you not a little think? bit herded. So have to get you off and, and, and on. Yeah, so you've got to embrace that and don't be too upset if they don't treat you like humans. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's all right. It's not bad. It's, very, it's like a tightly run ship, I'd say. Yes. This is the Irish bar. Up here. Up there. Look down. Um, yeah. But apart from that. It's quite a good experience, isn't it? Yeah, it's pros and cons. So I'm really being naughty tonight because uh, we booked Tepinaki. What was it called? Tepinaki. Because it's the only night we can get it. Also, it's the Indian night at the um, buffet bar. So, sorry, I'm going to go there and have a bit of Indian first and then go to the Tepinaki afterwards. Oh man. Gorgeous. On the cruise ship, hello. <laughs> <laughs> So this is really, really, really naughty. Do not try this at home. Yes, we've, um, yes, as I said, we've uh, ordered our table at the Tepinaki bar, but we thought we've got to have a bit of Indian. Look at that. Santorini. In Santorini. Very nice. 
Yeah, one of the highlights of this though has been the um, shows, isn't it? The entertainment's been great. The entertainment's great. And we're going to see another show tonight. We've seen three shows here at the theatre. And we can't take any pictures here. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to go and do some gambling. Let's do some gambling. Yeah, let's go to the casino. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Play some craps. <laughs> Alright, just you and I. Come on, let's do it. That looks... It looks like one of those mirrors, look. Go fast. <laughs> this is us. Go some miles and miles and miles and miles. This is us. This is us. Ugh. So this morning. We've docked in early at Mykonos. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we're, we're turning slowly. I'm back. Oh, you're back. Where have you been? Going to get to our tender ticket. Tender tickets. Tendery. What does that mean, tender tickets? So we get little boats. To little take us oh, no. What's all around your mouth? Is that toothpaste? Oh, no. You ain't been. Oh. How embarrassing. You went down there and saw people like that? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no one told me. Baby looks stunning. Lunch. You really rated Mickey Austin, didn't you? No, but it was lovely. It was a lovely place, wasn't it? Yeah, I loved it. I, mean, I think we did really well. We walked all the way around, we saw the windmill, we went and sat in a really old savannah, which was beautiful. It's an authentic place, isn't it? Yeah, and we, we went and jumped in the sea around the rocks, and that was beautiful. And then we walked back through the little Venice. And the Venice. people, and the people there seem really nice very and friendly. Very friendly, very friendly. Yeah. Then we walked back all through the little Venice park, didn't we? Yeah, we loved it. Which was gorgeous, and all the little shops, which were really cute. Crystal clear blue seas. Oh, beautiful. Obviously the weather makes a difference. Yeah. We enjoyed it much better than um, Santorini, didn't we? Yeah, it didn't break Santorini. Great place. Attire for the day. That's what everyone else is wearing today. Do you like my 
shoes. I like the shoes, they're very smart. So tell me, tell me something else what you like about the ship. I, I really like that um, at the end of your dinner you don't have to sit around and wait for the bill. You can leave before dessert if you don't want to Because it's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. And you can walk off with your drinks. So you walk around the whole place just holding your drinks and you go from the restaurant to the bar to the um, theatre all wearing your drinks. Yeah, it's great. That is a bonus. That I is really a like that. That is a plus. Um, tonight is um, white night, so that's why I'm wearing white trousers. And you're wearing white with a white baby bump. And tonight there's a party, is there? On the pool side? Apparently there's going to be a party on the deck. Party on the deck? On the poop deck? Poop deck. Hat you're wearing. Thank you. Well, we've spent the whole day at sea. And um, it's got to be one of the hottest days, isn't it? It's really hot. Really, really hot. So tomorrow we're in Dubrovnik. Is that true? It is true. We're up early. Very early. So we've been really monging today. You're really looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. Why is that? Game of Thrones. Because it's the Game of Thrones trip. Hoping you won't be too disappointed. <laughs> so this is the buffet bar. We come here a lot. It's not that glamorous, but you can just, you know, come in, in and out as quickly as possible. And the food is absolutely lovely. Look at that food. The choice is amazing. Sushi. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. And it goes for miles. And what we like about this place is that you have great. I think you have the best view of the sea, don't you? Yeah. I mean, it's not the nicest. I mean, there's, how many other restaurants are there? Eleven. Eleven rest. Ten restaurants. Eleven, including this one. Okay. This is the fruit section. The sweet section. I mean, it's just so much choice here. It's amazing, isn't it? Pancakes. Mmm. Custard rhubarb, banana rhubarb. Mmm, hello. Look. The friendly staff. Where are we going? Are you going to get anything yet? Um. Yeah, so it's not that tight because it's a party ship. Party ship. <laughs> and um, if you want to, if you're that way inclined, you can make friends in there. They're very, everyone's friendly, aren't they? Very friendly. Maybe try to talk to us, but we're so unsociable, we don't want to fucking talk to you. We talk we? to some people. We talk to them, but we don't want to like, hang around them like, you know, oh, let's meet up in the bar late and have a drink and all that. No, we try to. We don't want to do all that shit, it's just me and you. And that's it, oh. Yeah. We're not into all that intermingling, are we? Not at the moment. We'll but if you're, the, if, you're the, if you're that way inclined, you can make it's the perfect way to make friends, isn't it? Definitely. Like, so if you've got a boring okay. wife or a boring husband, mm -hmm. come on a cruise and you can make friends with other couples. You might even find a new husband. I might even find a new wife. <laughs> <laughs> so. Good morning. Morning. Time is about 6.30, just woken up. Unfortunately, it's a bit overcast in Dubrovnik. Um, we've just docked and uh, we're just waiting to get off the boat. But so far, it looks lovely. It's a big bridge there. As I say, it's a bit overcast, it's warm. Uh, not very good for taking pictures. But might be better for um, walking around because apparently we're going to do a lot of walking today.
quite sad, isn't it? Because this is our last evening. evening. Day. Day on the ship. What time is it? About 6.30? six o'clock. Six o'clock. Have a nice Peroni. Unfortunately, this young lady here is having my baby. <laughs> <laughs> is it yours though? My so, baby. you couldn't drink at all this holiday. But it's a fitting end to a new beginning, shall I say. Well, so here's to, here's to, if it's a boy, it's Kermit. <laughs> and if it's a girl, it's to be called... Gertrude. Gertrude, yeah. So here's to Kermit or Gertrude. Have a good one. Too boring without being drinking, but no, no, you are, you have been a little bit boring, you know? yeah. It doesn't matter because when I drink, you become more interesting. Well, we're just waiting to be called I was just gonna get that to, to depart the bus or the boat, even to depart the boat. The boat. And we are pretty gutted because we're meant to spend the last few hours in Venice and it is absolutely chucking it down. Yeah, we are absolutely gutted. Yeah, we're gonna just soldier on, aren't we? Yeah. Little bit of water doesn't well I say little bit, it's absolutely chuck it down. Apparently it that's light rain. Well, here we are in sunny Venice. <laughs> oh my God, it's terrible weather, isn't it? What can you do though, when in Rome? Well, not quite Rome, <laughs> is it? That's a beautiful building, I've got to say. It's actually more amazing when you get further away. Just like the place I stayed in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. So you've got this magnificent building and then you get this in the middle of the square selling this shit. That is just... Why does that happen? How does they... How does someone get the license to do that? It's just... It's just not Venice, is it? But I mean, it's anywhere. What do you think of that? You, wherever you've got tourists, you're going to have tourist tat. Tourist tut and tat. So that concludes our visit of Venice. We're going to head home to the airport. Well, the water taxi first. What's your impressions of Venice? Um, it's got some very nice buildings. It's obviously very unusual because it's on, built on canals. Yeah. Um, but it's not a place I would, you know, go out my way to visit, would you? No. You know, we stopped off here, which is good enough for me. Yeah. I never. If there was another cruise that stops off here, I'd be fine with it, but I yeah. wouldn't come out my way to come here. No, I wouldn't book a vacation here. No. Again, it's like every other city like this. Loads of tut shops and... A lot of tourists. Well, yeah. Tourist spoils a place, doesn't it, really? Yeah. But, yes, yeah, it has got some nice buildings and stuff, but yeah, I Yeah, I suppose it would be much better if we had a better weather, but... But also, you know, I've been to other cities that I think are much more picturesque, actually, than Venice. Yeah. I find it a little bit dirty as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's Buildings need a bit of a clean up. Yeah, it is. It's definitely no. not. Yeah. There you go. We've well, done it. We can say we've been there. Yeah, done Venice. Done Venice. Ticket off the list. Ticket off the list. <laughs> 